Hi, welcome back. This time we're going to look at using your laptop and an iPad to run a Zoom meeting. And we're going to try to use the laptop to present some material using a document camera and then use the iPad to monitor all the students. So right now I'm just recording this on my cell phone so I can move the cell phone around and show you the setup. Okay, so here's my main setup. I already started the Zoom meeting. I have a Lenovo. I have an iPad right here. I have seven Chromebooks set up see them over there, there's one around the corner. Okay, they're all on this meeting right now. What I wanna do for this meeting is I wanna be able to use a document camera to show the students something, but I wanna be able to see all my students down here. You do have something called a gallery view on the iPad, which I can click, and I would be able to see all the students. The problem is if I wanna share my screen here and I wanna share what the, the document camera is using, the shared screen will take up most of the space here and you'll only be able to get four of the participants down at the bottom at a time. You can scroll through the four, but you can only see four students at a time. So one way around this is you can go down here and you can change your camera right here. Instead of being the integrated camera, you can use this document camera. So I'm gonna select the document camera and now we see the document camera is coming up as the view for me right here. So my document camera, whatever the document camera is showing, is the view that they're going to see instead of them seeing my actual picture. So the kids can't see my picture, but they can see my document camera right there. Now the next thing you could do is you can click on the three dots for yourself and what you can do is spotlight for everyone. What happens is on all the Chromebooks, now they're seeing me, I'm spotlighted, and they're seeing actually instead of my image, they're seeing document camera image and it goes for the iPad as well right here. If your students at home are on iPads they probably will see this one block right here with your name on it or if they hit the plus sign they're going to be able to see up to four students at once right here. They can slide back and forth and see different students. If they were to click this button again over here on the left hand side it will reduce down to one block and if they hit minus it goes away completely like that. If they want to click it again, then they'll be able to see the views of the different participants. So for you as a teacher using this iPad, the best thing to do would be to click on gallery view and then this lets you monitor all the students as you are using this document camera and spotlighting your screen. So again, the students will see this view right here unless they change something here or here. If they click this just like you would, then they're not going to be able to see the image in detail like you want them. If they're telling you that they see everybody on their screen, then they need to switch the view right here to active speaker and that you're going to be spotlighted in this active speaker location right here because you spotlighted it earlier. Okay, I hope that video was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.